Hi, in this session I'm going to cover how to shade every other column or every other X column. So for example, let's say that you wanted to shade every column, every other third column here. This is an example of how we can do it. We can shade every other second column or every other fourth column or fifth column. And I'll show you two examples of how we can shade every other column. First one using the uh, table feature and converting it back to a range and the other one using some formulas with conditional formatting. So let's go into sheet one first and let's say we want just to do a basic shade every other column. What we want to do, or what we can do, is we go under the for, under the Home tab and under the Styles grouping, go to Format as a Table, and you notice that the shadings for columns, excuse me, the shadings are in the representation here are only for rows. So you can see that every other row gets shaded a different color. There's nothing really here for a column. Uh, what we can do is basically create a new table style. And in a new table style, we can actually, they only give us an option to shade, uh, actually to select the first or second column table elements, or the last or the first. But we want to, so with these limited options, maybe we wanted to select either the first or second. For in our, in our example, we'll just select the second. And we just want the stripe size to be one, meaning that it only shade one to one. So I'll give you, I'll show you the example here. So let's say that we wanted to format and shade that column green and click OK. Now, since the stripe size is one, it's only going to shade one. If we change it to two, it's going to shade the second one. It's going to increase it to two. So that's not something that we want. We only want it to shade one, the stripe size to be one. And we click OK. And you notice that nothing really happens here. But, so what we need to do is we want to, we want to create now we've got that we've created that custom table format. Uh, it doesn't show here, but what can we can do is we select on it, and it's going to say, "What do you want? To, what data do you have for your table?" My table has headers. If we select this, it does have headers. Most tables have headers, so we can go ahead and select that. You don't really need to select that for this example, but I just like to do it based on habit. When I click OK, you see that nothing's happened. Oops, I created a column here. I'll go ahead and delete that. Alt E A A to delete that. So after we created our custom table format, we can go ahead and just select our columns and go into format table and create and select our custom table. Now I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, say that my table has headers. Uh, for this example, it's just out of habit. Most tables have headers, and I just kind of select it out of habit. Click OK, and you'll notice that nothing happens. It basically just created a table, and now you've got your little filter drop down. So it, nothing got shaded, but what you needed to do is you actually s needed to select this banded columns. And you'll see that once you select that, the formatting shows up. And if we didn't want the table feature anymore, we can just convert it to a range. Once we convert it to a range, we don't have those drop downs anymore. And those should disappear. Uh, Excel is just kind of thinking right now and not responding. So once we turn it back into a range, you can see that the filters disappear and our columns are now shaded for every other column, every other even column. Now that's kind of a one way to do it. Uh, another way that you can do it and is use two functions, the column function and the mod function. So let me give you an example of what the column function does. So I'll do equal column and just tab that and I'm going to reference A1 and then press enter. So what it does is it brings back the column number. So if you can see here we go brings bring the function argument window. What this column function does it returns the column number of a reference. So we refer to A1, it will bring back the column number. Go ahead and click OK to close that. And so if I if I use the fill handle and move this across, you'll see that it brings back the different column numbers. So column A, column B2 brings back column 2, column C2, C1 brings back column Brings back that brings back C1 as the third column and etc. So that's the column function. Now, the other function I want to use is the mod function. So what the mod function does, it returns the remainder after a number is divided by a divisor. So I'm going to do the mod, and the number I'm going to want to use is this number, number one. And the divide, oops, and I'm going to do a comma. And the divisor, maybe I want to use every other column. So basically divided by 2. So I divide by 2, press enter, it will bring back a remainder of 1. So 
every even number it's going to bring back the remainder of zero because two divided by two there's no remainder so if I move this across if I copy the formula across you'll see that every even column is a zero now what I want to do is I want to put the mod put the column function and nest it inside the mod function right so basically this becomes mod and then column a1 and the divisor is going to be 2 because I want every other every other column selected right so this is going to be this is going to be the exact same thing as that right so if I move this across you'll see that happening same thing All right so basically this is just having the column function nested in the mod function so we're gonna what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and scoop this up copy control C to copy and press escape so it doesn't get selected anymore and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring up the conditional formatting and new rule and go ahead and use a form and determine which shells which cells to format so I'm just go ahead and paste that in here and I want to have that equal to zero so this is going to be my true false function so if that's true if this becomes true then I'm gonna format it and make those green so click OK click OK and you notice that nothing happened and the nothing happened that's because I forgot to select my columns so let me go ahead and select my columns again and go ahead and do new rule cells the format control V to paste equal to zero and then go ahead and green select green click OK click OK and now you have every other column what if I want to do every other third column so basically I can go back into my conditional formatting and manage my rule and change this I go ahead and edit it if I want every third column I just need to change the mod the divisor by three and I just click OK click OK and it's going to change to every third column so if you ever if you want every fourth column you just change the divisor of your mod function within conditional formatting so there's your two examples of how to shade every other column one by using the table feature and converting it back to a range and the other one by using the conditional formatting with the mod and column functions so I hope that helps thanks for watching